So now we're in the truck, you'll see that this is our entire coverage area. We have all of the zones showing. Myself personally, I don't like those to show, so I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna turn my zones off. And you can do all of the same search functionality that you have on the PC. You can search by order date, VIN. There's also a show trail for eight hours. You can search, or you can pull up each zone, I'm sorry. Address type, you can filter by. You can filter by job type. All the same functionality that's on the PC is available on the Android. So let's go now that I've turned off my zones and I have my coverage area pulled up. I'm gonna come back over here. And here's my map. So instead of zooming in to where I'm at, I'm gonna come up to the upper right hand corner here and I'm gonna hit the around me button. So I wanna go run this place of employment. When I click the POE icon, you'll see the customer's name and the address come up here. All the vehicle demographics are on the lower left hand corner, so you'll still be able to see your check-in count, how many days since you've last been there. Also the VIN number is here for a quick snapshot. This POE is right up the road, so obviously navigation, it's easy to find, but I wanna show you how to use Google Nav. And this is what makes the Android far superior to anything else on the market. We were a big purveyor of Garmin Nav in my company for a long time, and Google Nav blows it out of the park. And a lot of the reason why is live traffic. So in a dense metropolitan area, you'll be automatically rerouted for road closure, heavy traffic. You can even see traffic on the freeway. I'm gonna come over here right now and it's gonna take me to Google Nav. So if there was multiple routes and this wasn't so close, I'd be able to see all of them here, but this is a really straight shot. It's gonna give me the fastest route, one minute, 0.4 miles. I'm gonna hit start navigation. Another really cool thing, you, you don't see the traffic because we're really not on a freeway, but that green line would normally be where traffic was. You'll have your destination, how far it is away, the address to where you're going. You can easily read it on the building and you'll see that we're coming up on it. Another really nice thing about Google Nav is you'll have all of the places listed. This is actually the POE for this customer that we have listed here. Estimated arrival time, distance to arrival. So we're gonna be at 625. 625 is right there. So now what I want to do is I'm going to get off Google Nav. You can see that it's found my destination. And the really cool thing is if I was routing myself to a camera hit, let's just say this address was a camera hit, I'm going to be able to see my actual point running through this parking lot towards the camera hit. So there's no more copying and pasting the coordinates into the laptop and then doing an aerial view and hoping that you recognize the pool or palm tree that's around so you can reference to where you're at. So I'm going to just come to my task manager here. I'm going to kill the nav and we'll go into clear plan. So now we're at this POE. And just like your, your laptop, you're going to come here and we're going to slide it up. All of the same functionality that's on your PC is here. You have a check-in, discount, you can mark it as recovered, the assignment can be closed, or you can change the icon to any one of the custom icons and or default icons ClearPlan gives you. These are your RDN tabs right here, so you can go right back into RDN. I've run this, and I'm gonna check into it right now. If you want, you can do the RDN update with our new integration is gonna be right here. I'll save speaking in my update, but to speak in my update, I would push this button, and I've been, a, I've been a huge user of iOS. I can tell you that the Android is actually better as far as speaking updates and having them come through. So I won't even need to type my update. Large warehouse, one story, all open parking, no unit spotted. Not either. I've monitored, I have my check-in. It's been zero days since last check-in, and I have now changed my point. What I wanna do, though, is I wanna keep this new on my map, because I wanna make sure I rerun it. So I'm gonna go right back up here, and I'm gonna change it back to a new icon. So I still hold my check-in value, but I'm back to a new icon. It's a good internal reminder if I wanna rerun it. 
So I'm going to come back to my map. Now you'll see too that account is kind of grayed out. This is nice because you won't you won't run the same account twice. A lot of times when we get into a bundled area or a large metropolitan area, we can oftentimes go back over the same area, maybe twice, uh, just depending on where you're at. So it's been grayed out, we know we've checked into it. If I want to, I can switch it to a satellite view and I can see the warehouse here. So same goes for a camera hit. If this point was right here as a geo coordinate on an LPR hit, we would be able to watch ourselves drive down this aisle and that kind of references no more copying and pasting those coordinates anymore. So I'm gonna go right here, and I actually, I want the map to follow me. So let's just take a look, run this POE. One really cool thing about this too is the pinch to zoom stays at your desired location. So if I wanna zoom out, the map's actually gonna follow me that far zoomed out, but I wanna get really, really specific, and I wanna see it, so I'm gonna turn it like so. And here we are running through the POE. like nothing's back here we've already checked in and done our update so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna zoom back out and I'm going to do the same exact thing for my next account if this is the next POE that I wanted to run I would do the same I'd come over here I'm gonna hit Google Nav and this is going to be a little bit cooler because you're going to be able to see a multiple route option, right? So this Google is telling me with current traffic flow, because it's always monitoring traffic, this is the fastest way for me to get there. So I am going to say six minutes, 1.9 miles. I have three different alternate routes, but I really have worked so much with the tablet. I know that Google is 99.9% .9 right. So I'm going to hit start navigation. And now we're on the way to our second account. You're gonna have a lot more speed when utilizing the tablet. Like I said before, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but you're in the laptop, you go to the navigation, you type in the address, and you're just constantly routing yourself. And this is the, the same way right here. We're gonna hang a left. And now the Android tablet via Google Nav is going to take me to my next address. And that process will just repeat itself as your workday goes on. You'll be able to check into addresses, speak your updates, no more typing your updates. It's a waste of time. No run list generation. Building run lists is antiquated. It's old school repossession logic. There's nothing wrong with some of the old school stuff that we do in our industry. But as far as building a run list, it's, 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 old, it's old, old technology, a waste of time. Every day I get in the truck, I know where my new accounts are, I know where my old ones are, I have a good read of my entire area, and I just don't need to go in the office. It's really, you're kind of a, you're a one, you know, one man machine out here, and your speed to address is a much, much faster. I mean, previously I would say even with the laptop, you can average five to 10 more addresses a day, just even via contact with all of the stuff, no more typing and pulling over, and you start to get good speaking and update while you're, while you're rolling out to the next address versus pulling over, opening the laptop, coming out of sleep mode, typing your update. Again, just really kind of an old school method that we are all stuck in much, much faster. Another really cool thing, I can take a look at the destination. I can see the alternate destinations. I can see if I have any traffic coming up. You can actually see I have a little red line here indicating there's some traffic, it looks like, at this light. I want to go back to normal. I just hit resume. Same thing as before. You have the countdown to how long until you arrive on address, how many minutes, and the time of arrival. Much more specific. All the other Google Map functions exist in Google Nav as well. Satellite view, satellite view, traffic you can also do uh you can have google nav you can connect it via bluetooth to your truck and or you can connect your auxiliary cable to the truck oops a low battery here sorry you can connect your auxiliary cable to the truck and the google nav will speak all of its navigation directions through you to the truck this is just one of the many features we've got and a lot of the, a lot more of these videos are going to come out. We really, really want our users to be engaged. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop us a line in any of the content or contact section of our uh, website. And we'd, we'd love to walk you through all the new features and technology that ClearPlan is using to make you better in the field.